package for Ned Hubbard. That's me. <laughs> I told you kids not to play with your father's controller. Sorry, darling. I'll be back in a minute. Say this. They've tortured me. They've killed my nurse. And now they're after you. I escaped. But I don't know how long before they find me or you. I've got to go. I'll be getting in touch with you very soon. In the meantime, I've got someone watching over you with my controller. Good luck. Ned Hubbard? Yes. My name is Frank Ross. This is my partner, Will Kramer. We're with the FBI. I'd like it if you'd come with us and answer a few questions, please. Why? About what? <laughs> it's no big deal. Just a few routine questions about Dr. Oha and his staff. But I don't know where he is. How did you know he disappeared? I, uh... making sure my bag's got on the plane. No one is allowed in this room, sir. Now, I suggest you take your seat immediately. Right away. <laughs> Hello? Sally. Ned, where are you? I've been worried sick. The phone could be bugged. I'll explain later. Just listen. Remember that cabin we go to on summers when we first met? Yes. Go there. Grab the kids and leave the house right now. Ned, are you okay? Remember the doctor... Sally, go now. Right now. Trust me, we could be in a lot of danger. Well, shouldn't I call the police? No, don't talk to anyone. Don't tell anyone where you're going. I'll call you later. Excuse me, is that seat taken? 
Do you mind? No, not at all. I was sitting next to a fat man back there who snores like a water buffalo. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to believe this. What? Airport security's just called. They think we might have a murderer on board. My name is Francis Mars, and yours? Ned Hubbard. Really? Yeah. Aren't you the one that they call Wirehead? <laughs> I read about you in the papers. Ned Hubbard. Would a Mr. Ned Hubbard please press the passenger call button? Ned Hubbard. I have an idea. Follow me. Let's hide in here. Thank you. Where'd you get it? Oh, a store. General store. It looks awfully familiar to me. Sure does. Oh, yeah? Sure does. Sure does. M-O-O-S-E. Moose. That's my hat. You know what we do with hat rustlers? No. Levin with the Times. And gentlemen, we have a very serious problem. 
Your prisoner here is accused of killing a man that he didn't kill. And the real killers are, in fact, on their way here this minute to kill him. Now, I wouldn't worry your pretty little head about our prisoner, ma'am. Now, Sheriff, you just don't understand. These men are paid assassins. They're going to kill you, him, me, anybody to get to him. Now, you listen here, little Miss Reporter. I don't know who you are, where you come from. But I know this. Our prisoner is safe. That's right. Well, may I at least speak to the prisoner then? Well, sure. I mean, pal, he ain't going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> who are you? I know who you are. I've met with Dr. Oha. He is safe, and he wants me to bring you to him now. But I don't even know where Look, I am. I don't have time to explain everything right now. Trust me. Act dehydrated. Excuse me. Gentlemen, are you trying to kill this man? He is going to die of dehydration. Yeah, what? He's going to die of thirst. Please do something for him. Oh, hell, deputy. Get him a drink. Wait. Open the cell. Open the cell. I wouldn't do that if I were you, little lady. You open that cell door right now or I'm going to blow your redneck head off. right now. We gotta get out of here. Which way? My friend been taking care of you? What is going on, doctor? Why are these people chasing me? They're after you because of the operation. What do you mean? Well, after the accident, I reconnected your brain with electrodes. And now you're quite normal. Well, don't know if I say that. Great. It's normal, except why are these people trying to kill me? Oh, they don't care about you. They want what's in your brain. Brain control. It's the dream of every fascist dictator in the world. And we got one of the worst after us, Dr. Akabo Slitkan and his thugs. Those two feds. And the woman. Well, she's the most dangerous of all. They call her heels because of the stiletto shoes she wears. It's the last thing anyone ever sees. Yeah, I saw them. 
Well, that's great. What are we gonna do? Well, the first thing we can do... Guys, the only way we can clear this thing is to get the story to my editor. The second this thing hits the front page, you two are safe. And you get your story. Do you have a better idea? Who is it? House cleaning. Um, come back later. It's really not a good time for us right now. Sorry, must do house cleaning now. Hey, slip guy, look, I delivered the merchandise, now payday, huh? All right. Bring him in. Come on, let's get this thing over with. All in good time, my dear. Brain surgery is one thing. Knowledge extraction quite another. <laughs> Isn't that right, Dr. Rosa? You will learn nothing from us, you filthy butcher! <laughs> we'll see. Put him on the table. Get on, Jim.
down. It's Laura. Would you like to tell me what's going on? I found them. Who? Dr. Oha and Wirehead. I just got a call from a guy who said he's going to kill Wirehead's family if we don't deliver Dr. Oha to the shipyard. Are you involved with this? Uh, Sam, I'm sorry. I've got to call you back. Slickcon's got your family. What? He's taken your family hostage, and he wants Dr. Oha in exchange for them. I'll give them what they want. They don't need you. Are you crazy? Do you really think that Slickcon is just going to say, Oh, thank you very much, and let you walk away? No, he's going to kill you, and you, and anybody that knows anything about this operation. I should have never gotten you involved in this. Come on, don't do that. You saved his life. This maniac has got my family. All right, Sam told me where they are. You and I will go to the shipyard and rescue your family. Dr. Oha, you go to the police and meet us there. Sounds like a good idea. That little rat's starting to get to me. When I get my hands on that little freak, I'm personally gonna rip his eyes out. I'm gonna take that wire. Hey, you watch me.
Shut up, kid, or I'll feed you to the fish. They're in there. How many guards? Two. Okay, come here. Okay, if I can get them in here, do you think we can take them out? Yeah, I think so. Let's do it. Hey, Brad, look at this. and the police. We can't wait for them right now. We gotta get out of here. Slickon's gonna get us. I don't wanna put my family in any more danger. Don't you understand? He's after you, not your family. They should take the car and go to the police. You and I have to get to my editor. It is your only chance. Sally, are you alright driving that Cadillac? Yes. Ned, we gotta go. Come on.
can't believe we made it. Yeah. Not so fast. I believe we have some unfinished business to attend to. Is there a problem here, Miss Levin? The game is over, Slidcon. Give it up. Charlie, throw that man out of here. Yes, ma'am, sir. I'm afraid I'm going to have to have... <laughs> the game is never over, my dear. Would you like to come with me, or shall we finish things right here? To answer your question, Dr. Sleet Khan, I think we should end everything right now. All of your evil-minded schemes. That was for me. Sally? Everybody, come on. I've got two hours if I'm going to make that deadline. He'll be just fine. Take him to the hospital. What are you trying to do to me? Sam, I am so sorry I didn't call you back sooner. Where have you been? Uh, almost everywhere. Look, the mayor has called me. The chief of police has called me. You have given me more trouble in one day than I've had in 40 years at this paper. Sam, you don't understand. This is Dr. Oha. And this is Ned Hubbard, the infamous wirehead. How do you do, sir? How do you do? It's a pleasure to finally meet you, Mr. I can hardly wait to hear your story. Dad, yeah, look out! Not bad for a wirehead. Well, Dad, that was awesome. Oh, Ned. It's all right, I'm all right. Is she dead? Not yet. She has a very bad head injury. I think I can save her. Call an ambulance. But why, doctor? She's been trying to kill us. There's good and evil in everyone. It's just a matter of what buttons you push. So what are you saying? You're going to wire her up like you did him? Actually, a little better. I have some new technologies that will increase her performance and response time considerably. Great. Just what we need, a female wirehead. She's being rewired as we speak, and uh, we're hoping to uh, get her a little bit more on the side of law enforcement in the future. Well, Next question. But how did you get away? I had a little help. Somebody who basically saved my life. Thanks again. It was, it was great talking to you. My family's waiting for me. I'd like to try to relax and, and uh, just get back to normal. Thank you. Who is it that you keep turning to and addressing? What are you talking about? You keep turning around and talking to this person and asking for help. Well, that was Oha's, you know, plan to help to help me. I mean, that's so, my override. So Oha, you're talking to Oha? No, it's not Oha. No, oh. no, it's uh, we'll, we'll call it the person, the player. I'd like to leave it at that. I just don't understand some of the choices you made. Why did you pick the Bad choice. Is this some kind of interview? Well, how are you? All right, well... No, I'm just wondering why I had to go down the mountain on that bouncy thing and yeah. risk my life. I'm sorry that I took the wagon, the Jeep, the skateboard, the Zodiac, and I rode the pig. Neither of you listen to me. I had some really good ideas. We listened. I said go right, you said go left, but what was the right choice? What was the... We listened to you once. What was that? When we went out of the boat. And where did it get us? I got a kick in the face from that. I guess you did stuff for the most, didn't you? 